Hi, I know a lot of you are interested in controlling your MIDI synthesizers, and the MIDI support from Stringport is unsurpassed. Our ability to understand what your string is doing and turn it into appropriate MIDI information has taken a lot of time and careful tuning of the algorithms and a great depth of understanding of guitar playing and MIDI. MIDI doesn't give its secrets up easily and often doesn't do what the musician intends, but we'll be glad to show you some of these things now. MIDI out, uh, located here, will open up the basic MIDI out window, and you will see that you can set a bass channel, loudness curves, uh, pitch quantize, retriggering options, and turn on and off different channels, volumes, and pans. So here is a synthesizer from the built-in Apple DLS synth playing a piano sound. And many people are testing their MIDI controllers with pianos, and we're happy to show ours. It's very responsive, very accurate, and makes very few mistakes, again, because of our great understanding of how you play. We also provide a detailed set of settings. Many hardware synths uh, need to be goaded a bit into behaving, and these are done through channel messages, often called uh, RPN and NRPN. We provide eight per channel, and they get sent on a program change. We'll play a few other sounds here. It's like a fuzz guitar. We've got bend on. And we also can control external synthesizers. So here we have a hardware out. It's sending its output through the string port, uh, MIDI out on the back of the unit. And we're controlling a Emu Proteus 2000. <laughs> real test of a MIDI system is trying to do flamenco guitar on a grand piano. You can layer sounds from the guitar. We have accompaniment, which is similar to the accompaniment in Sinful. We'll bring up here uh, bell sounds, and we now are actually playing each of the strings on a separate channel, a bass channel starting here at channel 7. And we can use many of the parameters here to give us a very wide accompaniment. Here we are uh, stretching the last note I play, which is assigned to six of the eight channels, we're stretching them over octaves, which you can see set here, and we're transposing them, and we're providing a randomization. So every time I play a note, it will modify the next note, and we're going to clean that all up by playing it through an Ionian scale here in the key of C. I think that gives you a little bit of an idea of what's possible with the Stringport MIDI app. Thanks.